In this video I will be explaining how you can create tables and to do that I have created an example scene. As you can see the first thing I did was creating our table and after that I have created some text and played them. So let's start by how I created the table. What I have done is just I have written table and opened a parenthesis and after that I have inputted a 2D list. This list contains a set of strings inside that cause this table function only accepts strings so we need to input strings inside that and I have intentionally inputted 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2 and 1 comma 3 and so on. This indices represents the row and column numbers of every place so like this is the first row and first column of this table and here is the second row and first column and this is the second row and second column of the table. Knowing the indices will help us to highlight some cells inside this table. So if we want to add some outer lines here, as you can see I can delete this part and say include outer lines so that if I re-render this scene we will see outer lines also. Now as you can see we have an outer line around the table. Now let's look at how we can create highlighted cells. I wanted to insert some green, red and yellow highlighted cells in the specified indices. Now as you can see first row and first column is highlighted with green and first row second column is highlighted with red and first row third column is highlighted with yellow. If you want to highlight many cells at the same time we can use some for loops to do that. I wanted this code to be self explanatory so I have chosen the column number as C and row number as R. So I have written two for loops to highlight all of these six cells at the same time. Let's re-render the scene and let's see how this code works. Now as you can see all of these six cells are highlighted with color blue. As you can suspect we cannot use any math text or LaTeX equations inside table. So if you want to add some LaTeX equations the only chance we do that inside the table is row labels or column labels. But I don't really recommend using this row labels part cause let me re-render the scene and explain why it is. Now as you can see we have added a row label to our first row which is pi over 2 and we could be able to use the math text function. But if I want to use this same code to highlight the boxes or cells we will see some changes in our screen. Now as you can see all the colored cells are shifted to left as we added one more cell to left side of our table. So I don't really recommend using row labels or column labels. Instead I would use any other text function. But if you really want to add some equations inside the table you can use these row labels. And finally I want to state that if we add too many options or a long list inside this table function the table becomes too big so we sometimes need to scale that using the scale function. Now the table is scaled down to 0.6 times of itself. So this is the end of the video and thank you so much for watching.